Well, who would have thought that uh, an ice climbing trip would actually be pretty cold, huh? Actually, today it rose up to a balmy 45 degrees in the, the place I'm staying at right now, which is uh, really nice. We had one day where it woke up and it was like 10 degrees where I was sleeping, and then uh, driving back into Ure, uh, it was like, it got down to like negative nine in Ridgeway. I'm glad I didn't sleep there, because, uh, you know, no insulation yet. But uh, I am working on it, it's a work in progress. Uh, anyway, getting to like this actual video here. Uh, I wanted to talk about the Black Diamond Reactor. Um, so this is like a new ice tool that they just brought onto the market. And uh, I just got a pair of these, I think uh, like uh, two months ago or so. And since then I've taken them onto the Coleman Seracs because you know in Washington that's the only ice climbing you get is you have to walk up to a glacier and climb on their ice fall seracs there. So that was my first place I climbed with it. Then I took it on my trip to Bozeman and then now I'm using this in Ure. And so um, I've gotten a fair amount of mileage of ice under this guy. First a little backstory. So I've been using the Cobra ice tool for the past uh, number of, or really all my technical ice climbing. I've used this tool in the park, in the Ure ice park. Uh, and then also on some backcountry ice in Ure. And uh, I've been, this has kind of been my technical tool for a long time. But really what I wanted was a tool that was built specifically for ice climbing. And the big thing for me was the grip, because you know, this tool is a bit more of the all mountain sort of shaft grip, whereas this thing has the offset back handle sort of deal. And then um, also the, when I'm climbing ice, I really like the pivot point to be on my index finger, whereas the pivot point for this guy is the pinky. Not like it makes a big difference, and I have no problem switching between the pinky tools and the index tools, but when I'm on more steep ice, I just, it's a personal preference. I just like swinging with the index finger other than the pinky. Um, they do have a, I wanna say thicker insert right here, so you can change that if you uh, have smaller hands or wearing different gloves. I'm using the one that it came with because that works for me. Uh, has an upper grip too, for it's like all your usual Isaac stuff. Um, I also really like, I think this angle and then their pick angle is really good uh, because it's really easy to get a good pivot swing without putting too much force into it. And then with this one, I also find it not too hard to like re-angle my elbow so that way I can swing it at a different angle if uh, this thing is butting up against a block of ice and then it's preventing the pick from going in. Um, Black Diamond Picks, I know some people don't really like them, other people don't have a problem with them, and I am in the don't have a problem category because I haven't had a problem with these picks yet, and I've been um, not too bad to keep sharp. These ones probably need to be sharpened a little bit more. I'll make a video on how to sharpen stuff too if you guys want. Black Diamond themselves use this, uh, market this tool as a pretty much full on waterized tool, and then that's uh, what I'd use it for. I have done some dry tooling. I did a day of dry tooling with this thing, and in my experience, it worked just as well as any other stuff like the Nomix. I've used the Nomix for a lot of dry tooling and a number of times I borrowed my friend's Nomix for some ice climbing, and this axe feels, or handles, just about the same as a Nomic. And so, um, I mean, like, that's the niche they were going for. Now, the Nomic, for those few times you actually end up holding the axe and cane mode and plunging the pick into the snow. Now these axes, the Cobras being a more all mountain tool, they actually have a pretty good pick right there and that allows for good plunging. And that's why I would use this for like North Ridge of Baker or like Alpine, intense Alpine ice climbs. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily bring this guy into the mountains. But um, a big thing that is kind of annoying to me is this sort of setup they got here. And it's not annoying because it gets in the way, it's because I can't even perch the tool on ice. It always just slides away. So that is one thing to watch out for. It doesn't work really at all for in cane mode. And to be fair, the ax isn't designed to be used in cane mode, but I think you can get away with it a little bit easier on the Nomex than these guys. Really, I mean, the idea with these things anyway is that if you do swing into the ice, the handle, if it's perching on the ice, it doesn't slide all over the place, these teeth bite in. 
and um, and that happens more often than you might think and so that's what the teeth are designed for and that's what I've used them for and they work great for that um, yeah definitely don't want to use this in cane mode if you're gonna climb the North Ridge of Baker with me uh, you want a tool like this with the, the good point on the bottom other than that yeah I've been using this for I got maybe 20 ish days of ice climbing on these guys now and uh, one day of dry tooling <laughs> But um, I'm gonna keep on using them. I'm gonna mess around with them. Maybe I'll get the head attachment and see how well they pound pitons, but I mean, they all kind of pound the same, so who cares? But um, yeah, I'm really happy with this tool. Uh, it definitely does everything I w I've wanted it to do. And um, this is kind of an initial review. Maybe uh, next year I'll make another video on this, comparing it to a different tool or whatever. But yeah, I'm definitely happy with this buy. And I think Black Diamond did a pretty good job with a nice technical ice tool.